Okay, now that I spent 90 minutes pressure cooking those delicious beans and turkey that was seasoned with all kinds of dry seasonings and fresh vegetables such as uh, celery, green pepper, red peppers, and onions. Now that we have uh, jarred those up, and pressure can them so the pressure canner has stopped the um little thingy has went down meaning that the pressure has released from the actual pressure canner and it is back to zero so i gave it an extra couple of minutes and so now i'm going to remove the weight from my pressure canner and we should be good to go so there should be no you know real steam coming up or whatever the case is so here goes. Voila. Now the pressure canner that I took my weight off the pressure canner is uh, ready to open. So I turn it. And then when I open the lid, I'm going to flip the lid back this way so all the pressure can go that way away from me and not towards me so i don't want to lift it here i want to make sure i lift it from here and that way i don't have to worry about the actual um the uh steam hitting my face because it's going to be still steam in this pot just not going to be forced steam. so here it goes taking the lid off look at that look at that look at that look at that steam coming out okay but see how i'm using this to block my face what we want to do baby okay now that the lid is off the smell is absolutely amazing yeah 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 uh yeah okay now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take these tongs that's designed for jars yep these right here see it okay and we're gonna lift these jars out of the pressure canner look at that this also has sausages in it as well. And so you can see it's still cooking in the jar. Can you see that? Let me see. I'm trying to get a focus here. There we go. That's what we want. So now in order for me to know that this is done correctly, I have to listen for these jars to pop. When I hear something, bing, that means these jars are sealed properly and they are ready for storage. Ready for storage. Food is so high. I'm trying to catch these prices. Uh, even though they high, they're going to get higher. I'm trying to catch these food prices. And what I'm doing is trying to make sure that we are able to have some food that we like. Um, that we still can afford. Because if we get to the point that we can't afford it, then baby, <laughs> we short. Okay, we are short. Let me see. I'm trying to get this. No, I better not do that. I better not do that. But I'm, I'm not going to have enough space down here. Let me see. Okay, let me get them closer. Okay. So I can put, I got seven jars. I got two more jars in a pack. One of my jars must have um, leaked a little bit because look in there. But it's, it's cool, though. As long as I get a seal, I'm good to go. Look at that. Can you see the sausages in there? Mmm. Can you see my fresh vegetables that I cut up this morning? Mmm. Still, they still going, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Still going. Now, what will make me happy is sound. I'm looking for sound now. I'm looking for something to say, ping, ping, ping. I don't know where this one to go. Let me, you know what? Let me um put this towel down here so I can um put this last jar somewhere. Put this towel. Okay, so this is jar number last, <laughs> which is seven. <laughs> number last. Look at that. Ooh, baby. Look at that. 
But look at the top. It's some spillage on the jaw. Okay. And this this jaw definitely had a one inch head space. This jaw may not seal. I don't see this one still cooking like the rest of them. But I don't know. We'll see. See, these are still going. So what I'm waiting for now is for these jars to give me something. Give me give me a seal. If I don't get a seal, I'm going to have to eat all this food up. Yes. This one is giving me worry because I don't see it. I don't see much activity in it. Sometimes I can tell if my jaw going to seal or not because it continues to uh, boil when it's out and this one is not. We'll see.